As people, we tend to occupy our minds in the daily grind, immerse ourselves in routine. Not often is it that we stop to look around, and so easy is it to think that we ourselves are each other's only concern. But we are not alone. Every day, a silent killer looms overhead, a cold, unfeeling predator lying in wait. I'm speaking, of course, about clouds. White and fluffy, clouds are typically viewed as innocuous, almost docile. But this is folly. The threat is very real. And if you're not careful, you may just find yourself in the billow of the beast. Clouds are the perfect menace. They are always present and always watching. They are stealthy, silent, and practically ubiquitous. Here, look at these charts. The facts are undeniable. There are many types of clouds. I wouldn't know where to start. I remember this uh, family picnic. Uh, we've been preparing, had been preparing it for good several weeks, and everything was supposed to be perfect. It's perfect set, big lake, a forest on the background, lots of food, drinks. Everything was perfect until those clouds came up and they basically killed the whole event. Let's hear that again. Those clouds killed my family. One of the more pressing issues of the cloud crisis is that their devious exploits go largely unknown. For example, did you know that clouds can grow to be up to 60,000 feet tall? That's the size of over 50 Empire State Buildings and over 10,000 Hitlers. That's way too many Hitlers. Clouds have also been recorded moving at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. That's enough force to push an entire kindergarten down a flight of stairs. Is that a risk you're willing to take? Most Americans remain blissfully unaware of the looming threat above. What clouds? Oh my god. The clouds? Um, I don't know. I don't see them now. Um, they're in the sky, they rain on me once in a while. What, what's the cloud problem? Currently, the largest growing threat to the United States. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sky? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Explain, please. Oh, I didn't know. Um, not, not that much. Like, I don't really like, I mean, I'm, I, like, not, it has been a while since I took, you know, science. They will How about the song? Do you, do you enjoy sunlight? I mean, sometimes, but not when it's like, if it's like the summertime beaming, like, I, really, I do need my shade, like, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I love sunlight. Yes. So you hate clouds? I hate clouds. They make rain. They make it rain. I, dis I disagree with the clouds. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it into consideration. Alright, thank you. But not every citizen is as uninformed. Excuse me, sir. We spoke to Excuse one me, Julian Ornando, who had this to say. Excuse me, what's your opinion on clouds? Uh, fucking clouds, man. Get me started. Fucking clouds. You know they're made of smoke? I saw a cloud that looked like a redwood oak tree. I saw a cloud the other day. It looked like a fucking terrier mixed breed. So with such a severe and prevalent problem, how do we find a solution? How do we eliminate the clouds? That's a crazy question. You can't get rid of clouds. You will have to get rid of water. In order to truly free ourselves of these daunting heralds of doom, we must attack them at the source. Clouds form from vapor. Vapor forms from water, carelessly left strewn about to feed the wispy white beasts. If you see water, don't wait. Remedy the situation while you can. Mop it up. Wipe it with a sponge. Or suck it up with a straw. Remember, mop it, wipe it, suck it. So now that you know the facts, the horrors and travesties committed by our fluffy white menace, what are you?
going to do about it. Stay sunny, America.